Hey guys, Red Eyes here, and I just wanted to make a quick video about minecarts going over hoppers and why they are inconsistent. So I had a theory that the hoppers were only accepting items at certain times, say three times a second, because that's how often they accept items. Uh, and I did a bunch of testing, posted it in the Hermitcraft chat, and Dinnerbone actually popped up and confirmed it. He said that uh, hoppers will only push or pull items every eight ticks, offset by the coordinate of the world, or in the world. Now, I don't fully understand the offset uh, in the coordinates part. And another interesting he thing he said was that hopper minecarts work twice as fast. So, yeah, they might be better for distributing things over furnaces, although I have no idea how furnaces accept items. Uh, but basically, the results you get trying to send minecarts over hoppers are going to be inconsistent, and there's always currently a possibility that they will not detect anything. Um, so, yeah, I'll just give you a few examples. Here I have a minecart here, and... whoops, <laughs> that wrong thing. So I'll send it away, and then we'll look at the hoppers to see what's happening. There's one in there. Nothing in there, one in there, uh, something in there, nothing in there, something in there, something in there. And yeah, basically I'm not going to complete the whole thing because the pattern I get every time, uh, at least here, now bear in mind that all these carts are all starting from Z685, so that might have something to do with the pattern they create. Uh, but basically I get a 16 block repeating pattern, so there's a gap of two, and then two which are on, another gap, two on, one off, two on, one off, two on, one off, two on, and then the pattern repeats itself, so two off, uh, two on, and by on I mean the hopper here accepted an item, and here it did not. Yeah, and that seems to be very consistent, at least for the tests I have set up. So the more interesting tests I did were, if we look at this green wool here, these two minecarts set off at the same time, and you can see the pattern they created was the same. And the same thing goes for this orange wool, except for I sent three minecarts off at the same time. So they are all traveling in the same direction, uh, and they all started at the same Z coordinate. But apart from that, uh, I'm sort of surprised the pattern is exactly the same. And also, if we come right to the end here, I sent uh, four minecarts down here, chest minecarts, and the first three times I got exactly the same pattern, so the green wool, the wood planks, and the uh, grass there. Got the same results there. So I was beginning to wonder if it would do the same thing every time, but then on the fourth test, the pattern was offset. So exactly the same pattern, the 16 block repeating pattern, except for it's slightly offset. So the two blocks uh, gap is there, and for the other ones the two block gap is there. So basically it depends exactly what time the cart sets off and when it goes over the hoppers, uh, because yeah it's like a clock, you know at 12.01 the hopper is awake, and at 12.02 he's back asleep again. <laughs> Sort of like that. So there isn't really any way to control that. Maybe I guess if you had it hooked up to a sunlight detector or something. But of course game ticks can be inconsistent uh, depending on what your computer is doing. Sometimes it might struggle for a second and then the game will have to catch up or whatever. And I think that's what happened here. You can see the first pattern here when I sent a hopper minecart full of stuff, it gave me three, then one, then three, then one, then three, then one, then two, then one, then three, then one, then two, then two with nothing, then two with something, two with nothing. So quite an odd pattern. However, on the next test I did, I once again got the 16 block repeating pattern. So gap of two, then two on, one off, two on, one off, two on, one off, two on, one off, two on, and then again, the gap of two, and the pattern repeats itself. So, 
yeah basically I just wouldn't put too much time into trying to get this kind of thing to work because it's currently not going to now Dinnerbone said he's trying to make it better but you know it's it's complicated stuff trying to figure out the best ways of doing that so yeah long story short don't spend too much time on this kind of thing for now so the last thing I want to show you is the most beautiful and it is the mega test I made uh, you have to ignore this bottom line here because again the button went straight into the hopper or not the hopper the button powered the powered rail directly so I think you got a different tick length than everything after it because everything after it went through a repeater first um, but essentially this row is the start and then this one went one tick later one tick later one tick later one tick later they were all starting at the same F uh, Z coordinate and yeah look at the pattern very very consistent so the diagonal line down there and the interesting thing about this I think is uh, if we come down here the two block gap is here and if we go up one two three four four ticks uh, it starts again so I don't know how to describe this all mathematically but uh, yeah I just thought it was very interesting so I hope you've enjoyed the video Dinnerbone I hope you fixed your game <laughs> and uh, yeah okay thanks for watching bye bye